Falco. Mark says there's tons of uh, pelicans where he lives in Australia. Oh, I, I've never seen one in real life. What would I do if there was a giant tarantula in my streaming room? Uh, I'd probably leave the room. <laughs> I don't think I want to be in there with it. Do I think I'll ever celebrate a holiday in Connecticut ever again? Well, I don't live in Connecticut. I live in Washington. So, you know, probably not. I mean, the thing is, what they're making it so hard to travel in the United States now. Did you know that next year you have to have a super high-end ID to fly across states now? Yeah, they call it like a real ID or something like that. So what you have to do is you have to go and get, you have to present like your birth certificate, your social security card, your proof of residence. You have to go back to your, like your licensing office. And then you have to get, submit it and it takes like months to get it. And it's expensive. It's hundreds of dollars. And then they upgrade your driver's license to like this special real ID license. So now you can fly again. Why? The fuck is the point? It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What what exactly added value does that have to any American? Zero. But they're forcing us to do it. They were actually supposed to do it years ago, but COVID prevented it. So now, finally, they're like, all right, we're finally forcing it in 2025. So I guess I'm going to have to do that. Because I, I, I have a driver's license. I have a social security number. I have a birth certificate. But I don't have a real ID, another piece of shit that they make us pay for that we'll never use. So, yeah. So I guess I got to do that. Um before I can even fly anywhere. Like, like, could I? I mean, yeah, I could fly to Connecticut with my wife and we could spend the holidays there, I suppose. Uh, we would have to take time off of work, me and her. Um, so probably not this year. Hey, let me put it this way. If things keep going well, right? Let's say next year, people keep supporting me the way that they've been supporting me the last three months, right? August, September, and October were all absolutely outstanding months, right? Well, let's say... That continues in 2024 or 2025. Then maybe we could actually afford to do that. To take like I could take a week off of work. She could take a week off of work. We could fly to Connecticut and spend some time with my family. You know, do some things in Connecticut that we like to do. Perhaps get some good food. You know, some shopping and stuff. Maybe. Do I miss Connecticut? I miss my parents and I miss the food and I miss the zoo. Those are the three things I miss about Connecticut. I don't miss the weather. I don't miss the the taxes and incredibly expensive things. I don't miss how cluttered or, and crowded it is. It's way overpopulated in Connecticut compared to where I live here. There's like twice as many people in Connecticut. It's stupid. So I don't miss any of that shit. I really only miss a few things. Mark says, I have never been to America. I've heard of stereotypes in Connecticut. It's all millionaires and billionaires. Nope. A few very tiny parts of Connecticut are like that. Um, Gre uh, Greenwich. Um, Black Rock, I think Norwalk has some of that. Mer Meriden, I think. There's basically like one small region in Connecticut where all rich people live in mansions and shit. And then the rest of Connecticut is like low to mid to low income people. But the problem is because so many rich people live in Connecticut in this consolidated area, it drives up all the taxes in the, in the, the state. So you're paying sky high taxes for literally no reason. It's because these uh, rich people have forced the hand of the state. It's incredibly stupid. Uh, no, I don't like being around a lot of people. No, I, I don't mind people. I don't want to be in insanely crowded areas all the time. I don't enjoy that. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, it, it, like, like I said, it's a possibility. Maybe if things keep going well the way they've been going and continues on, I had three really great months. If months continue, then maybe next year I can do something like that. Right? These things are becoming uh, possible because of your levels of support, and I really appreciate that. Speaking of which, we have had absolutely no support whatsoever yet tonight. Zero. And I've been broadcasting for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Zero support tonight. Not a super chat, not a super sticker, not a tip, not a membership, not a gifted membership, not a sub, and not a gifted sub. But FYI, I now have animations for every single contribution type, no matter how you contribute, I play an animation for you now. The only exception is if it's like a very small, like if it's like a dollar super chat, no. It has to be like five bucks or more. Or if it's like a dollar tip, no. It has to be a 420 tip. But if you do anything else, a membership, gifted membership, 
sub, super, uh, gifted sub, all that. It all I have all these new uh, animations lined up for you guys now. Thank you for that. And that uh, gets us to $5 in contribution so far. Hmm. Very nice. This constant obsession with support is embarrassing and pathetic. I agree, AB. If people like you didn't obsess over how much support I receive on my streams, you'd be a lot less embarrassing and pathetic. I completely agree with you. Enjoy your band tonight. Matter of fact, I'm running a business, right? My level of support is important because it's, you know, what allows me to for my family, and my bills, improve the business. I told you the next big thing, I'm trying to get a new PC here for streaming and capturing. You know, for you, it's none of your concern. You can literally kiss my hairy ass and, you know, it's none of your business to even comment on it. No, the re the re-ups behind the scenes um, don't show up on a leaderboard or anything. They're just kind of like aggregate support, I guess you could call it. I'm not sure exactly how it works, the re-ups, but they don't actually show up as new support on YouTube because those re-ups are automatic. So they don't actually happen during a live stream or anything like that. They do help by any re-upping of any sub or membership helps, but it's not a live stream contribution. You understand? 